on leveling from emile's journal september sixth eighteen fifty one by friedrich emile eighteen twenty one to eighteen eighty one this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org emile's journal september sixth eighteen fifty one tocqueville's book has on the whole a calming effect upon the mind but it leaves a certain sense of disgust behind it makes one realize the necessity of what is happening around us and the inevitableness of the goal prepared for us but it also makes it plain that the era of mediocrity in everything is beginning and mediocrity freezes all desire equality engenders uniformity and it is by sacrificing what is excellent remarkable and extraordinary that we get rid of what is bad the whole becomes less barbarous and at the same time more vulgar the age of great men is going the epoch of the ant hill of life in multiplicity is beginning the century of individualism if abstract equality triumphs runs a great risk of seeing no more true individuals by continual leveling and division of labor society will become everything and man nothing as the floor of valleys is raised by the denudation and washing down of the mountains what is average will rise at the expense of what is great the exceptional will disappear a plateau with fewer and fewer undulations without contrasts and without oppositions such will be the aspect of human society the statistician will register a growing progress and the moralist a gradual decline on the one hand a progress of things on the other a decline of souls the useful will take the place of the beautiful industry of art political economy of religion and arithmetic of poetry the spleen will become the malady of a leveling age is this indeed the fate reserved for the democratic era may not the general well-being be purchased too dearly at such a price the creative force which in the beginning we see forever tending to produce and multiply differences will it afterward retrace its steps and obliterate them one by one and equality which in the dawn of existence is mere inertia torpor and death is it to become at last the natural form of life or rather above the economic and political equality to which the socialist and non-socialist democracy aspires taking it too often for the term of its efforts will there not arise a new kingdom of mind a church of refuge a republic of souls in which far beyond the region of mere right and sordid utility beauty devotion holiness heroism enthusiasm the extraordinary the infinite shall have a worship and an abiding city utilitarian materialism barren well-being the idolatry of the flesh and of the eye of the temporal and of mammon are they to be the goal if our efforts the final recompense promised to the labors of our race i do not believe it the ideal of humanity is something different and higher but the animal in us must be satisfied first and we must first banish from among us all suffering which is superfluous and has its origin in social arrangements before we can return to spiritual goods end of unleveling from emile's journal september sixth eighteen fifty one by frederick emile